I'm Eddie Miguel. I'm Global Training Operations Manager for CobblemSat.com. I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day logistics in our partner training. Um, and that involves everywhere from curriculum development to actually facilitating either on-site training at our partner's facilities or at one of our Cobble facilities. Even though manuals do define what you need to do with a product line, the inherent problem is the scope is not thought about. Um, the scope of our manuals talk about what is involved with our equipment. However, with that said, our piece of equipment, what we supply to our partners, is just a small piece of the overall technology going together to create a full systems. And so it's not in the scope of the manuals to teach all of the other bits and pieces that will be taught. Um, above and beyond that, there are multiple types of learners that are out there. Um, there are visual learners, there are guys out there that can read text and understand that. And so there are a group of guys out there that will read a manual but will still need an instructor to kind of guide them through and actually give on the hands-on experience to fully understand what's going on with the equipment. We run approximately 70% of our class is theory-based because they have to understand the nuances of how the stuff goes together and then the other remaining 30% is hands-on. So we do a mixture of both classroom environment and then a hands-on workshop with our students. In reality, you need that working relationship with the equipment to fully understand it. Um, at the end of the day, somebody that were to come into one of our courses that have no experience with SATCOM or with our equipment in particular, we're talking a good six month learning curve from the time they leave one of our classes before they become absolutely fully proficient in what they're going to do. Um, there's only so much that we can replicate or duplicate in a production environment. It's really what happens out in the field and all of the other bits of stuff that comes in um, that needs to be talked about. The complexity and the technology behind the equipment is it's tremendous and it's actually it's understated if that makes sense um, if you think about it we're taking a piece of equipment that's on a boat that can rotate at up to 15 degrees per second and we're maintaining a pointing angle to a satellite that's 23,000 miles up in the sky and never miss pointing by more than 0.2 degrees we are continually utilizing and investigating the latest technology and sensors user interface, reporting structures, and are continually taking the field feedback to make sure that our technicians that are working on the systems can utilize it to the best of their abilities. Um, for users that we're going to purchase our equipment, we actually provide multiple paths for them to be able to operate the equipment. Um, first and foremost, we will arm the partner or the dealer that is going to be selling the equipment so that they can provide personal training to each individual user. We will also allow any end user to come to any of our production um, courses as well. Um, we also are working on multiple online programs that can serve as an upsell for some of our clients to provide training um, right on site on board if they choose to. Number one, you can access the course from any internet-enabled device, um, but it also allows a student to what we refer to as eat it, um, consume at your own pace. They can take as much as they want or as little as they want, and the structure is so that they can do 15 minutes today, an hour tomorrow. So what that solves is the feeling of being left behind because you're with a, an advanced group of students or going too slow because some of the other students don't understand what's going on. What do you think is the greatest benefit that somebody could walk away with from one of your training courses? Probably the understanding of the component level on how we sense motion, how we drive motion, and then how we interface to tie that to become a complete television receive only system or a full-blown transmit receive system. The technology never stays stagnant um, and that we truly utilize the end users for just about all of our feature enhancement and requests. 